The political life of a vulnerable minority is always hard. Promoting your agenda can result in some very odd alliances with people who are allies in one area and opponents in others. But what happens when your potential allies are not just people with whom you disagree about certain matters, but people whose values and views you actually find abhorrent? And this has come up over time in different ways for Jewish communities, and especially it's come up during the pandemic. Example, you have groups who lobby, as we do, to protect freedom of religion. They should be our allies. But some of them have actually initiated lawsuits against federal and local lockdown rules, claiming that those inhibit freedom of worship. From a halachic perspective, lockdown decisions may sometimes be questionable, but overall we err strongly on the side of saving lives, under the banner of pikuach nefesh, hatzal de rabim, saving lives, saving the community. We certainly would not take such a strong public stand against them. Or another case. You have a political official who defends the state of Israel and is seen as an ally in that regard, but who has personally demeaned and slurred those whose medical counsel he disagreed with during the pandemic in ways that halacha would never accept. So can we ally ourselves with such a person? Or beyond the pandemic, from other recent headlines, halachic values would certainly seem to ally the Jewish community with protests against racism. But some of the leaders of some of the protest movements have expressed themselves and acted in ways that Jewish values abhor, both in relations with Israel and the Jewish community, and in general. So how do we align ourselves? One source in Tanakh would seem to say that we should stay away from all such allies. There was a great righteous king by the name of Yehoshaphat, king of Judea, of Yehuda. He allied himself at one point with a wicked king, Yehoachaz, from Yisrael. And Hashem sent a prophet to him to tell him this would be the source of his demise. And based on that, our sages in the Talmud taught, Al tischaber la rasha, don't join yourself with your halachic opposites. But practical political life hasn't always been so simple. Listen to these two opposite positions recorded in an Ami magazine article on voting in 2012. One, Rabbi Yitzchak Frankfurter, building on an idea from Ramosha Feinstein. Rabbi Frankfurter wrote, I wasn't brought up in a community that was trying to impose Jewish values on others. We we're very happy to be able to preserve our Yiddishkeit and practice it in this Medina Shal Chesed, this nation of generosity. And then Rabbi Frankfurter writes, I spoke to Rav Ruven Feinstein, son of Rav Moshe Feinstein. He told me that Rav Moshe did not believe that family values would outweigh a position support for yeshivos. If he's going to support our Torah study, not concerned about his personal values. That's one poll. Then on the other hand, Rabbi Meir Schwab he said the following, if it would come out that the Frum Jews voted for and put into office someone whose behavior was despicable by all standards of humanity that decent people everywhere consider abominable, if it became known that the Frum Jews of Borough Park or Muncie or New York voted for him, it would be a Chilol Hashem. And Chilol Hashem, desecration of God's name, trumps everything. So said Rabbi Schwab in 2012. So which is it? Which way do we go? Come discuss this with me in a Zoom part of our Beit Midrash Shavuaton at 8 p.m. EDT on Wednesday, June 17th. The theme of the overall Shavuaton is Jewish community in the era of COVID-19. And in this session, we will discuss when political allies are our halachic opposites. Zoom link and Shavuaton website are in the description below.